Anytime somebody comes up to a telescope and they ask a question like, which is further, that star or the moon? They really don't know. Just about any night, you look up, in New York City anyway, and you see the light from the city reflected off the clouds. You don't have any sense of what it means to be really in the dark. I like to take my telescope to places where people are and show them the heavens and let them commune with nature. In New York City, there's dark places and there's light places. From Lincoln Center, which is a lot of light, you're gonna see the major planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, Venus when it's out, and the moon, of course. It's like looking through a straw, and just look for a small white light, it's a small object. And that's gotta be Jupiter then with the rings? No, that's no. Saturn. Saturn, Saturn's rings? Yep. That's amazing. Try without your glasses first. Just look for the white light. How far away is it? 800 million miles. About. When somebody is looking through a scope at, say, Saturn, you can't talk to them. You have to let them commune with what's up there. You have to let them listen, in a way, to what Saturn is saying to them. And then when it's done, they look at you and they smile. And you, and you say, this is neat. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. There are a few experiences that are really democratic, and looking at the sky is one of them. Sitting out there on a dark night and seeing just how awesome, in the real sense of the word, the universe around us is, and how small and insignificant and magical our own lives are. The collective are, right? As we've become more electronic, as there's more light around us in general, that's not an experience most people have anymore. Our ability to observe the sky and the loss of that ability is symptomatic of many other issues that are serious, right? So light pollution is pollution. Half of your light is going up. And so all of that light is wasted and just winds up brightening the night sky unnecessarily. And it does have impact on everything from people's circadian rhythms to flight patterns for birds to much bigger concerns. Maybe after midnight, when they turn the lights off on the plaza and the fountain is stopped, you can see some stars overhead. You're not going to see distant galaxies. So for that, you have to get out of the city. Uh, the only way New York City could see the Milky Way is if someone pulls the plug and you have a blackout. And the last time we had a blackout, it was overcast. I couldn't believe it. I said, aha, this is, this is sinful. I mean, if you're going to have a blackout, give us a clear night. When you have a dark sky, you have a lot more stars to start star hopping from. The Bortle dark sky is a scale that gives you an indication of how dark the sky is. From best to worst is one to nine. One is dark, dark sky, and nine is like totally urban. You can see where there's a light dome going towards the southwest. Under these conditions right now, you could just see the Milky Way stretch a little bit south to about here. I see a piece of it here. And I also see a piece of it over here. So this one is Mars. And the one which is now in the clouds is Saturn. When you look into a telescope, you're actually looking back in time. You're seeing the light arriving to us, however many light years it took to travel. The light from the moon happened two seconds ago. The light from Jupiter happened 40 minutes ago. And that's what I love about astronomy. You're just watching time. It's like you're time traveling. When I teach my introductory astronomy classes, one of the things that I really encourage my students to do is just to look up. Preserving opportunities to see more of the sky in dark places, it's a worthwhile battle. 
Those are experiences that do shift your awareness of yourself, of the people around you. Sagan was the first one that said it. We're made of star stuff. And you don't get that from seeing a picture in a book. You say, it's all black. Then you really know that you're just a tiny little piece of a big, big puzzle. And it makes you more humble.